Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of SCZ Live. I am Sinead, and I'm in a place that I've never been before. I am on the second level of our new administrative admissions membership building, and Brian from EB has joined us to give us an update on what has been happening here at the construction site. So right now, we're looking right over here, Brian. Can you tell me what's that brown building? So that's the old restroom building. We turned into the stroller return, stroller rental um, building for you guys. That's more or less complete. I got to get a door on it and uh, get some lights and some other stuff. But that's, uh, we just put a new front on it and put some siding on it, new roof, and we built the whole structure besides the three walls, more or less. Put a new, <laughs> put a new floor, that kind of stuff. It looks really nice. Yeah. Now, what I like up here is to look around and you can really see the difference here. So, for those of you watching online, the little depot where you used to get sundries and stuff sat right there, and flamingos are right here. So, that kind of gives you an idea of um, what you'll see when you come into the zoo and what you leave the zoo with. Yeah, um, so. So this area right over here with this little seawall, we still got to put a capstone on it, but that's kind of a future pergola, sundries area where you guys, when you come in, you'll get your, you know, sunscreen stuff or whatever Steve sells, uh, the little animals and all the good stuff. All the good stuff for the kids. So that'll kind of be over in there. Um, and then the rest of this area is, over here is pretty much open. If you can kind of pan around all that. You got some uh, boulder seeding, and they're doing the irrigation right now. Oh yeah, you can see the We're actually standing in the boardroom on the second floor. And there's actually gonna be a balcony right here. Oh, so right here where all we see all the metal will be a nice little balcony. Yeah, there'll be a nice little wall and a uh, handrail and a, this'll be, what we're looking at right now is what we're going to see. This is all glass right here. Oh, that'll be beautiful. Bird, bird glass. Bird glass, which is important. Hey, since you mentioned that, tell us a little bit about the bird glass. That's a pretty special thing. Have you ever worked with that before? I don't believe we have. It's a special kind of laminated unit. It's got a special film layer in there that they put all together. It's actually a little bit thicker, but it'll, uh, it'll let the birds see, like, a small two by four, I believe, area, lined area that we won't see. You can kind of see when it gets wet. But uh, yeah, with these buildings having so much glass on them, uh, we have, they've decided, everybody, I think as a group, has decided it's a good idea to have the bird glass. I know Dr. Etling was a big, absolutely wanted it, and Scott and everybody else, and of course GLMB, so. And this, this building is actually pretty unique because with the bird glass, the way I understand it, is it is one of the few buildings in the whole Midwest that will have this guardian film. The guardian film glass, yeah. yeah, that is what I understand too. Now, right here is that transition um, between the administrative and admissions building and the gift shop. So this is where our guests will come in. It's just right through here. Tell us how the gift shop is going construction-wise. Well, so if you see the lift underneath there, that's uh -huh. going to be, that'll be your entrance to the gift shop. Okay, as you're leaving yes. the zoo. Yes, so uh, we got to get this crossover across and then finish the stonework. Metal panel work's about done. Um, essentially, the outside is pretty close to being complete. Um, and then we'll, we're, we're going to get ready to start like all the drywall and that stuff oh, on, that's the, bad. on the inside. So. Now, I know up here. Oh, there we go. These big overhangs. Um, do those have a significance? So that you're talking the canopy? Yes. The canopy is independent from the building. Um, it will have you guys' solar array panels on top that um, will... I don't know the uh, exact numbers, but I know the energy savings this the solar panels i believe run a good chunk of what these buildings require but i know we're setting the building up so although right now we won't be able to hold that energy that's being built so in the future we can add on those those uh, up up sales basically to make sure that we continue to be as environmentally friendly as possible 
And I believe the solar panels also are supposed to be kind of a transparent. Like yeah. when you look through them, it's, you'll still get sunlight through them. And I, I hear that you, they'll bounce the sunlight off the ground so that they can absorb sunlight from below as well as above. That was my understanding on it too. So tell us, we're now looking at this big open space in here. We're standing in the boardroom. Well, yeah, okay, so if you guys are looking right in front of us, uh, there's actually gonna be an aquarium. That's gonna be a two-sided aquarium for the boardroom, and then that's, that's gonna just kinda be a waiting area out there. Uh -huh. Over to here where all these metal studs are, and the guys are, that's gonna be Dr. Etling's office. There's a few offices here in front, and a lot of open space. The center of that area right there is like you guys' restroom facilities, file storage, plan room, break room, and then along the whole back side here is uh, uh, more office space. Right. And so, it. And again, we're just on the second floor. The first floor, then we'll have our um, first aid, our guest services, uh, membership, security, and admission and security. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so amazing how quickly now that thing has come up. Oh, and the question people have had the whole time is the elevator shaft. So now you guys can actually see the, uh, that other side of the elevator shaft there. For so long, that was the only piece that anybody could recognize. Yep. And then, of course, for those who know the zoo, looking straight ahead now, you can see the Cargo Learning Center, and we're getting wrapped up now on that courtyard or outdoor classroom. You want to walk back over here? when it's horizontal and we were trying vertical. I can see that, that, hi dad, I can see that you're watching. Joel Andrews, I can see that you're watching as well. I'm gonna flip this and as I flip it, I'm gonna see if I can still see, nope, it won't let me rotate. Well, that answers that, okay. So if we have it this way, we have to keep it this way as we go. We love hearing your comments, so we're just trying to figure out a way to be able to hear your comments. So this is not probably the best view, but on the inside, as you know, Shanae, we've started the concrete, all the seats, boulder seating, uh, limestones in, limestone on the e both sides of the walls done, and the top caps going on. We do have the wood that just arrived that we're gonna uh, be it building the pergola with. Um, and then gate over here, and a few other odds and ends. I'll take a picture of the seating area and post it on Facebook as well so people can yeah, see it there from you there. Go. Well, everybody, I know if you're like me, I've enjoyed when I, when I leave the zoo each night, taking a moment to uh, look and watch the construction. I know we have a lot of guests that just stop and watch here as well. So, Brian, thank you so much for joining us today, for giving us a little bit of an update on what's happening here in our construction area. Everybody, we do want to let you know we do still have one week of summer school classes next week for our 6 to 9-year-olds as well as our 10 to 12-year-olds. So if you uh, need to get those kids used to being back in the classroom and listening to people and sitting down and heck, if they're like my kids wearing pants, uh, this is a great opportunity to come on out to the zoo. You can find more about those classes at www.scz.org. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.